Salutations, this is Grim Devel. Welcome back to our Let's Play of Dwarf Fortress. The uh, Blizzard, wait, what is it? The Terrifying, no, the Blizzards of Bering, that's it. We are in a three biome embark. The uh, left, top left part is the Blizzard of Bering. To the right is the Socketed Blizzards and towards the south is the Dune of Cavorting. Um, so I, I haven't uh, unpaused the game because so, uh, you know, at the end of last episode, we saw there is a lot of uh, vomit all over the place near where a wagon is and uh, all our animals are. And it is because you can see uh, there's a smear of rotten muck, a pool of rotten muck. And uh, this is something that happens in evil biomes, which the uh, blizzard of burying is. And if you look at, let's say, um, our... Uh, Chief Medical Dwarf here, let's say, um, and go look at them and go to health. You can see in treatment, it says diagnosis required. I think all these people up here are sick because of this uh, rotten muck. Uh, probably the animals too, which is pretty fun. And if you look at their thoughts and preferences, uh, let's see. Actually, this one doesn't look bad, um, but I was just looking at... Um, I think our expedition leader, who is somewhere around here. Well, I can just go, you, there we go, Thob. Uh, view you, thoughts and preferences. Within the last season, she was horrified when caught in freakish weather. So that's fun. <laughs> uh, very fun. Oh, you know, I never looked at the relationships here. We might want to take a look at that. Um, I don't know if anyone, friend, I think everyone is just friends with each other to start. No actual relationships to each other at this point. We're not going to spend too much time looking at that. So I, I have lots of plans. There's lots of stuff I want to do. But the first thing is we got to get everyone out of this muck. This is not great. Um, first of all, uh, if we hit, what's the button? Q, Q. Then we can actually see the wagon here, and I can hit X, remove building, slated for removal. That's what we needed to do at the end of last episode. Um, the pasture over here that we moved uh, the alpacas and yaks to is actually fine. There's no rotten muck uh, over here. Uh, right here where my cursor is, this is the like delineator, this line here. Uh, you can see there is a little bit of rotten muck here. Down here where the pasture is, no rotten muck at all. Um, so our pasture is in a fine place as long as the people can come here. Um, I think what I would love to do is, uh, you know, where we have our, uh, our fortress entrance here, uh, to also have like a little, um, maybe go down a level and then have a tunnel come all the way to the south, um, uh, kind of by the stream here, pop up and have a little hatch and like a little greenhouse area. Um, maybe, maybe not even an entrance, or maybe it would have a drawbridge, but generally it wouldn't have accessibility to the rest of the outdoors. It would just be something you would be able to, like an outdoor but covered area, um, maybe made out of glass or ice, um, that sun would still be able to get to. We could have farming, we could have pastures, um, but enemies wouldn't be able to get through. That would be great. And of course, they could be able to go outside without having to deal with the rotten muck. Uh, that would be cool. Um, it might take a little while to do. Um, but I think the first thing we need to do is just get everyone indoors. So, to that end, I also realized um, maybe we shouldn't have um, mined to the north. Maybe we should have made this to the south. Um, I guess it's not too late to do that. Um, there would just be a little area here, which I guess is fine. Um, so... Because if we started going south here, I mean, we'd obviously still be in the icy, uh, the evil biome if we did that and build the stairs down that way. Uh, I was just thinking more in terms of being able to have a shorter path to where the greenhouse would be. Because if we did that, we could have more farms over here. And maybe we could have like a wagon system to have all those farms bring the food over to where our main fortress is. Um... Although, maybe because we're going to do that anyway, maybe this is fine. We've already started this. It's not really that much of a of a um, difference in terms of how far away. I guess this is fine. We'll leave it. We already started doing it. Um, so, let's get everyone indoors. Right? 
we have this stockpile here, but there's going to be rotten muck all over here, too. So I think we might actually want to get rid of both of these stockpiles to start. Uh, get rid of this zone. I don't think this should have been a zone anyway. Um, yeah, remove this zone. And then stockpiles P. We are going to remove designation, I think. All this. Great. Okay. Forget the refuse for now. We are just going to do a custom stockpile. It should have our, our same custom settings. And we're just going to put it indoors here. Just all up to here. They can place all the stuff. Uh, so they should do that. And let's also set a zone for a meeting place. And everyone will get in there. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. So, right. Zones. We'll just put it like right here for now. I guess we can make it a little... Eh. Let me make that a little bigger. Remove zone. Okay. Zone. I want it big enough to, like, satisfactorily fit all the dwarves. That's fine. And this will be a meeting area. Cool. And everyone can go there. And hopefully everyone will. Okay. So they will stay out there long enough to disassemble the wagon, etc. They will have to get out outside once in a while to, like, pick up the logs. We might want to... Horrified. Everyone... It is raining rotten muck. Gross. Everyone's moving really slowly because everyone's just vomiting all over the place. Uh, so because this biome... So the southern biome, there are scarce trees. There is some scarce vegetation. But because it is scarce down here... Um, even though there is some area for animals to pasture on, that grass might not grow back, or it might grow back very, very slowly. We might still want to try to dig down and find some underground areas for them to pasture, which should be fine. Okay, so everyone's over here now, or they're starting to all come over here, which is good. Um, we might want to... We need a diagnosis. We could set up a little... I mean, we don't have the materials to build a, like hospital yet so i don't think we can diagnose yet i'm not 100 percent sure uh we do have a an assigned doctor um in fact where would that be job list no 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 so yeah this is what everyone's doing storing items in stockpile that's good that's what we want um i don't think people can be diagnosed unless there's a hospital bed i could be wrong about that um what did I want? I want the, like, assignments. The nobles and administrators. So we do have a chief medical dwarf. So hopefully, you know, they will... When Once we have a hospital, and I think we're going to need a hospital sooner than later. Um, so after this is dug out, we might not even wait for them to finish digging out the stockpile area. We're going to dig down and start, start making some makeshift... Um, some rooms that will temporarily house some, like, immediate workshops that we need to build stuff. We'll probably disassemble those later um, and change change that into, like, a, an inn or another meeting room. Um, we'll probably start with a little dormitory down there. Okay, so now that that's done, let's um, designate a downstairs. And we're just going to do the 3x3 three three staircase here. And I think that'll be fine for us. I know last time we tried to do like a spiral staircase, although I think I flubbed it up. It's easy to flub. Um, so I think just a three by three downward or up down staircase going up, going down. Uh, I think that'll be okay. It's not very imaginative, but um, hmm. I guess what I could do is only do hmm. Uh, I could have like a center column. So only do, like, so basically uh, remove designation in the center and just have them, like, stare all around that one column. That's kind of cool to have, like, a central column still. It's not like a spiral staircase, but I think I kind of like that better. Okay. Okay. Um, so we still have miners mining out this ice. Ice takes a long time to mine out. Fortunately, we can, I think, make stuff with all this ice. 
It is still raining rotten muck. Look at you. <laughs> the trail of vomit is ridiculous. Oh my gosh. They are slowly getting all this, uh, all these barrels and everything inside. Slowly. Okay. Um, so let's see. Let's also designate up downstairs for right. Uh, I guess they'll have to do the downstairs first. Okay. Where's our other miner? No job. What do you mean, no job? Uh, go to unit. Oh. Overwhelmed by horror. I see. You don't have a job because you're overwhelmed by horror. I understand that. I do. Um, it happens to the best of us. So, uh, to our beginning here is going to be a very slow start because everyone is going to be constantly horrified by this raining rotten muck, which causes everybody to vomit. Um, the other thing that we need to do, so because it's frozen here, there's no water. We have no access to water. However, of course, we know that two of the biomes that uh, is in this cross-section have aquifers. So we should be able to make a well um, that goes down to one of the aquifers once we find one. And I think that should be easy enough to do. I'm pretty sure that if we just go over to the right here a little bit, like, once we go down a level and go a little to the right, we should be able to mine down until we find the aquifer, I think. Uh, and um, and then we'll just make a well. I think that should work fine. Uh, because there are aquifers, we could do some pretty fun stuff with them. Uh, like, make, you know, like, have, like, a water pump pumping water, like, all out the side of the mountain or something like that. I don't know if that would immediately freeze or what, but we'll find out. I don't think aquifers are frozen in frozen biomes, but I could be wrong. Um, we should make sure everyone is sleeping in here, too. Uh, let's see. Would that be a designation? No, no, a B, right? Oh, no, you need a bed to designate a bedroom or a dormitory. We don't have a bed. Let's build, maybe in the stockpile room quickly, let's build a workshop and it will be a carpenter's workshop. Because we need beds. Um, yeah, I think that's fine. And yeah, let's build it out of ice. Perfect. Plenty of ice. All right, that'll be good. And once we have that, we can start building some beds. And we should have enough wood um, to build beds, to build a bed for all of our all of our dwarves. And I think we're going to want to reserve our wood just for beds. Uh, beds are one of the things that you have to build out of wood. There's not a lot of other stuff that we need that you have to build out of wood. And wood is gonna be pretty scarce for us. There is some available, but not very much. Despairing. Farmer cancels store item and stockpile. Despairing. That's wonderful. Uh, okay. Are you horrified too over here? No, you're storing something. Where are you going? Oh, you're going to get uh, wood, I assume. Yeah, yeah. That makes sense. Yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be a lot of hauling. I think also in this temporary room, once it's mined out a little more, we'll put a kitchen in here and a, and a distillery so we can immediately start making more meals just in case. A snowstorm has come. Great. So we have muck, rotten muck and snowstorms all at the same time. Maybe the snowstorm will cover the rotten muck and it won't be so horrifying anymore. Wouldn't that be great? And uh, never having been in a... Uh, an ice, bi like a glacier biome before, I don't know if how negatively that affects the dwarves, like if they're just like freezing all the time uh, if, you know, how important clothing is, it's not quite like RimWorld where like they'll, you know, the clothing is that important, they'll get hypothermia, I mean maybe, maybe I could be wrong about that okay So, this stockpile stuff is almost used up. 
but we can... Well, I'll wait till them... T oh, I, we need this stuff to be mined out. It's raining mo rotten muck again. So what's the difference here? The, the blue is just ice, and the white is a dusting, snow-covered ice. I guess. Or a dusting of snow. No, I don't know. It's just, I guess it's just random how it uh, chooses which tile. So it's nice we have this stream here. It's called the, the Autumnal Ore, I think is the name of this frozen stream. I don't think it will ever thaw out because these are all freezing biomes, but that's okay. It's nice that we do have some uh, wildlife. We have some camels over here for hunting if we need it. I was reading about evil glacier biomes, and apparently there are two um, enemies that hap that appear in these biomes. One is an ice wolf, I think it's called, or maybe or a, maybe just like a larger version of a snow wolf, which is very large, like as big as a, a dwarf. And there's also something called, I think, a blizzard man, I think it's called, which is like this evil like ice creature made out of ice. Um, which sounds pretty terrifying. That has like icicle fangs and stuff like that. Uh, so that'll be fun if we encounter one of those or several of those. Ooh, what is this over here? Opals. And we have mudstone. So um, the other thing is that this biome, the evil biome here, even though this is the biome that we have to dig down into because this is the one without the aquifer, the other two biomes have shallow clay and they have very deep soil i think that means that we'll be able to farm in the other biomes which is another reason we i think might want to come down here to do farming even underground uh, we'll have a whole farming area to the south i think that's my plan this is really slow going with all the sickness all right let's take a look here um at the expedition leader at thob she, let's see, how's she doing? Let's look at her thoughts. Horrified, annoyed, but euphoric due to inebriation. So it's a good thing we have enough alcohol right now. Um, and health, nauseous, but no treatment scheduled. So no more diagnosis is needed. I guess she was diagnosed and the diagnosis was nauseous. Okay, well, that, that does make me feel a little better. Nauseous isn't so bad. Um... Can we look at the next person? How about you, the woodcutter? Uh, how's your health? Nauseous. No diagnosis needed. Okay, so just nausea. It looks like this stuff just causes pretty severe nausea. I mean, look at this green. This green is just vomit. We have basically a road of vomit. And that's Dwarf Fortress for you. The road of vomit. And a colony of bumblebees in a pile of vomit. Pile of vomit, pile of vomit, pile of vomit. <laughs> Everywhere they walk. Oh, man. The animals leave it. Pretty amusing. Okay, how are we doing here? The stockpile is pretty much full. Um, we have some mining designated here. I hope they mine before they haul. Yeah, okay. I guess... Alright, I guess I'll add another stockpile zone here. These are all temporary, so custom, stockpile, and whatever. We'll just, we'll just fill this whole hallway. Just so they have space to move stuff. Is this, is this building done? Oh, I guess... Oh, profile requires manager. So we need a... M manager? Oh, I, no, I can add a new task. All right, so let's construct some beds here. Um, in fact, uh, let's use the manager. What is it? M? No, 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 no. Uh, oh, I guess to use the manager... We can't use the manager tool yet because you need... Um, a manager is required to coordinate work orders. And we don't have one yet, so we'll have to do it manually, and that is fine. Uh, add task, bed, and we're going to repeat it. Can we repeat it seven times? Uh, we'll just 
um, do that. Three, four, five, six, seven. Seven beds. Okay, that'll keep that'll keep our carpenter busy. Despairing. Uh, so let's see. Let's also build a uh, distillery, I guess. Uh, brewers, brewers. Well, we don't. Have, we're not making any food right now, so maybe we don't want to do that. Oh, still, that's what I wanted. Yeah, but we. I guess we need that stuff to eat right now. Eh. I was just thinking that we might want to hunt those camels. So we could do a butcher shop. Hmm. We could do a butcher shop and then a... Yeah. Well, uh, we'll wait. We'll wait until they mine some of this out. I don't want to block the entrance here with that. Uh, we might want to start working on a drawbridge, although we need... Oh, you know what we need? The first thing I think we need to do is build a place to make... What are they called? Um, uh, me um, the mechanics workshop to build mechanisms. Mechanisms. So, should we just build that here? Oh, right here. That's great. Build it out of ice. We need mechanisms so we can build a drawbridge to pro to protect our uh, our fortress. And once we have that, we can be relatively safe from uh, from evil from attackers. Oh, a little tree over there. Potato plants. Oh, that's nice. We do have a little vegetation over here. All these potato plants. I guess we could harvest those too. Of course, I, I don't think we're going to want to do that until we have a greenhouse over here. We'll probably have an entrance to it, like a drawbridge to the greenhouse. Okay. Uh, I don't think this is built yet, right? Yeah, not built yet. I don't think we built any beds yet either. One, two, three, four, five. Nope. Uh, well, the cats are here. The cats are sick. The turkeys are sick. Uh, our apacas and yak should be okay. Down here. They are, the alpacas are really hard to see because they're white A's, which are short letters, and the snow is all white too, so they're kind of hard to see. But they're there. I see them. They're not moving. Should I be worried that they're not moving? Well, I guess they look okay. Yeah, looks fine. All right, how's our wagon doing? It's uh, still a lot of stuff. I guess that's the disadvantage of having of bring, of doing the manual embark, and uh, having them bring tons of bags and barrels, is it takes a lot longer to haul all that stuff. Maybe we should have just dug straight down to make that process faster. But honestly, this isn't that far away. People are sleeping down here. It looks like that's okay. We don't have any beds yet. Hopefully soon. It's raining rotten muck again. Oh, it looks like uh, it looks like we might have beds now. So let's um put a bed down. Building present. Um, we'll just put one right here for now. We can move these. One bed. That's enough to make a dorm. Come on. Everyone just keeps getting sick, falling asleep, just becoming nauseous, becoming terrified. It's going to be a fun game, everyone. I I am so excited about it. I, I, like, I go to bed thinking about this game and how, how I can't wait to continue playing it. What is this? What did they drop here? Uh, thread? Yeah, pigtail thread. Covered in vomit and rotten muck. If only we could make stuff out of the rotten muck. Termites. It would be great if we could find honeybees. That would be awesome. We could get lucky. Uh, did I just see? Yeah. What are you? 
Honeybees! Hooray! I think I might, um... Uh, hotkey that. Um, I'm gonna give it... F8, I think. Zoom here. Change name. Honey... Bee, uh... Honeybees. And, um... Yeah, I'm not going to label hockey too. It's just where the wagon is. It won't be a hockey for much longer. Despairing. Everyone's despairing. There's so much vomit in here. Everything is just covered in vomit. We'll have to have a cleaning crew. Do people even do that? I think they do. All right, looks like we're finally uh, about to mine downwards, I think. Or no, I could be wrong about that. Um, all right, did we finish building the, uh, nope, still waiting for construction. At least we built the, uh, the carpentry workshop. It's nice that that's done. What is that? Oh, honeybees here! We actually have honeybees that are very close. Um, well, that's good. I won't forget that those are there. They're pretty much right in front of our entrance. They really are, like right in front. Great. Um, so we would just take the, we would move those to the greenhouse if when we build a greenhouse. They have to be outdoors. We're gonna have a little honey industry. Make some mead. Turkeys in here. Um, can we build them nest boxes yet? What do we need to make nest boxes? I think we need a mason workshop. I don't want to build too many workshops because we're gonna everything we build up here we're gonna disassemble and move elsewhere. But a Mason's workshop might be worthwhile. And we're building all this out of ice, which is very plentiful. Um, all right, I'll, I'll wait a little bit. I'll, I'll wait till they mine more out. It's just taking so long to mine out because everyone's hauling, everyone's sick. Let's see. Where are the miners? It's a good question. Where are you? Hauling wood. They're hauling wood. I think I would rather them not haul. I think I'm going to have the miners not haul. Oh, H hauling. You have no roots. Oh, you can do hauling roots. I forgot about that. I'm not sure how that works. I might need to look that up because maybe it makes sense for them to not haul through the evil biome if they can avoid it. Um, although right now, I guess it doesn't. There's not really another option. Um, what was I doing? I can't remember. Oh right, um, you. No, 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 no. Well, I guess that's fine. Let's uh, go to you. Let's look at your labor. No, it looks like your profession, labor. So you have mining on, but you also have hauling on. Why don't we take hauling off for both miners? Um, how do I take it off? Shift enter. There we go. And the other miner. Go down to hauling. I'll have to remember to reassign that. I just want them to finish mine, uh, mining here. Okay, so we built that bed. Um, so let's designate. No, no, no. Um, what is it? Hold on. It's like... It's not building. It's not designate. Is it it's Q? I think it's Q. Yeah. R. Make bedroom. And uh, however big you can make it. It's one big bedroom right now. <laughs> yeah, sure, the whole thing. So that's as big as it goes. Fine. Uh, and we're going to say it's a dormitory. That is fine for right now. Let's place some more beds if we have them. Oh, we, we sure do. Of 
Cool. That'll be nice if those get placed, people can actually sleep on beds. Okay, still haven't mined these downward staircases, that's okay. Uh, that should get done a little faster now that we've disabled hauling for the miners. Which I should have done immediately. That's okay. Um, so what was the other thing I was going to build? Oh, a mason shop. Uh, did they ever finish building the... Um, they did. Mechanics workshop. Make rock mechanisms. Oh, we can make a traction bench, too, for uh, medical stuff. Construct rock mechanisms, and we want a bunch of those... Uh, four, five, six. Can I change the details on it? Can I say just ice? I guess it doesn't matter. They're probably built out of ice anyway, if they can. Uh, ice is not a material here. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, seven, eight, nine, ten. Sure. Or I guess that's more than... Cancel one of them and let's add a traction bench. So we can make a little hospital. Let's get those mechanisms done first, and we can build a, a uh, bridge. Okay, they're almost done this room, and then we can actually start mining down, which will be great. Uh, why did I need a mason's workshop? I can't even remember. Oh, nest boxes. Yeah. Not, as, not that important. In fact, I think at this point, let's say, uh, let's move the stockpile zone to there. Um... And this will be that same kind of stockpile. Everything there. All the wood and stuff will move down um, to where we eventually put our carpentry workshop. Okay, great. So designate up down staircase. Oh, whoops. Um, nope. Designate up downstairs. There we go. Okay, so once they do that, what are we going to do here? This is still all ice, so it's going to take a long time to mine out. But, oh, the weather's cleared. I think on this level, we're actually going to make our first makeshift dorm which will eventually turn into a tavern. Uh, let's put that up to the north. Um, let's see, I'm trying to pre-plan like how, like if we have something here that goes up, how big this room would be. I might want to do a little bit of, um, uh, like not square, not uh, not quad, no quadrangles. I think, and the, the way I'm thinking about doing the dorms is a little less quadrangly too. So why don't we do that and have it open like this? And right now this will be. So this is ten, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, it's eleven. So then why don't we clear a um, middle column? So uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah. Cool. And then, yeah. Nice. This will be our um, dorm to start. And then it'll become the tavern. So they'll do that. An ice tavern. An ice hotel. And we're going to want to start farming soon, too. And doing the uh, still and stuff like that. 
So that I think will come, we could either go to the east or to the south. And I think we want to go south because I think uh, that's where we're going to build a greenhouse. So let's start doing that. Um, eventually it might be three by three, especially if we do like a track with a minecart. I'll let them do the, I'll let them finish the dorm first though, and then we'll designate that. But I think uh, on that level, it'll come all the way down to here. Um, I don't know if it'll be under the river. We might have them at some point go to the right a bit and then come down. Ideally, we want them underneath the pasture or around here. It's a little bit far, but I think it'll be okay. Because we need to farm. I mean, obviously, the other thing we could do is just keep digging down and down until we get to the caverns and just farm down there and not worry about any above ground plants. And that would be fine. But I like the idea. Now, because we have this, like, good biome down here and it's uh, joyous, um, what is it called? Joyous wilds. Uh, I kind of really want to build a greenhouse there. I think that's a really exciting idea and to have all of our food production come from that area. And I didn't make this, like, the biggest um, embark 4x4 it's big enough. What is that? An elk man corpse. What killed it? Well, we missed that. Uh, can I take a look? Rotten muck. Elk man blood. An elk man corpse. A lot of rotten muck covering it. And vomit. I assume from the elk man. No indication as to what killed it, I don't think. Um, anything up here? I wish you could uh, do a little filter on the general message log here. Oh, there is a combat thing. Um, there is a combat log. R. The dog is fighting. The elk woman is fighting. Is it our dog? The stray dog attacks the elk woman. I think that was our dog. Our dogs are attacking the elk men and women. And apparently they're winning. Okay. Uh, interesting. Well, um, I don't know if you can butcher elk men and women. I think you can't. I think intelligent creatures like that, like sentient creatures, um, doors do not like that. But I think these might be hostile. Otherwise, I don't think our dogs would be attacking them. But it looks like they're not too tough since our dogs are clearly winning. So, um... Oh, Elkman threw the stray dog by the third left. <laughs> Elkman releases the grip. So the dog got a little hurt. And then here. Oh, a lot of stuff here. Actually, it looks like, oh, the stray dog passed out from exhaustion. The stray dog bit the elk woman in the left lower arm, tearing the fat, bruising the muscle. But the elk, I mean, they are fighting these dogs. Um... Let, all right, well, hold on. Let's look at these dogs real quick. So this dog... Oh. Second left toe is broken. Second left front toe is smashed open. And what about the uh, other one? Maybe it could be the same dog in both cases, but... Yeah, I think it is. That, yeah. So the dog get, did get hurt a little, but did ultimately win that fight. And the dog might be okay. Um, all right, so anyway, I think that's a good place to stop uh, this episode. Um, so thank you for watching, everybody. If you enjoyed this episode, please leave a like. Um, it's still early in the series, uh, but please remember to share the series if you like it, especially early on. Um, and remember to subscribe, leave comments. Uh, your comments in the series would be most appreciated. I really enjoyed playing with you today, and I'll see you next time. Bye, everybody.